Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today's video was actually a requested video. I got this request a good few weeks ago now, so it has taken me a little while to get this video together for you, but I really hope that you will enjoy it, and if this is something that you are interested in, or if you are the person who requested this video, I really hope that you enjoy watching it. I personally really enjoyed putting this video together. I know that at the moment loads of people seem to be traveling and Paris seems to be quite a popular destination right now. As I'm not personally traveling to Paris myself, I don't have any plans to, I thought it would be quite nice to live vicariously through some outfit ideas for Paris. These are Parisian inspired outfits so I have that chic Parisian stylish girl vibes basically throughout this video which I really hope you will enjoy. As I said I really enjoyed putting this video together so I really hope that you will enjoy these outfit ideas. Oh and also for the occasion I do have on a very red lip which I think is very Parisian as well. I don't have a red lip on for the outfits though I just went for more of like a nude natural lip because I felt like it went with everything but for today for the sit down version as I'm just chatting to you I really wanted to go for a classic Parisian red. These outfits definitely have spring vibes in mind I mean it's getting warm in the UK which is just so exciting so definitely some more spring vibes but also like transitional outfits as well obviously it can be sunny but still a little bit cold and I think Paris is more or less the same kind of weather as we're having here in the UK so that's what I've got in mind and let's get started outfit number one I would say is a classic Parisian outfit a classic chic look I can picture so many different Parisian girls wearing this type of outfit so that's what inspired me to put it together. I'm wearing this tweed style cropped cardigan. It's from Urban Revivo. It's a gorgeous blue color, but also is available in a light pastel green shade as well. So if that's more your kind of thing, then there are more colors available. It will be linked down below as will all of the items and outfits that I share. Everything will be in the description box down below. So just click show more for all the links. And so as I was saying, this has gorgeous black piping as well, which I think looks so chic and so elegant and then it's got really pretty gold buttons and honestly I think it's these little attention to details that really scream Parisian. I've paired this with this like floaty style scorch that I have. This is from Storettes and I think it works so beautifully here. It's actually a very laid back chilled piece if you ask me. It's definitely something that I would consider perfect to wear in the spring and summer which is exactly why I paired it with this cardigan because I felt like the cardigan was a slightly warmer option so it's nice to have something a bit more flowy and floaty on the bottom half and I thought it worked really beautifully. I mean you can't really go wrong by pairing black with a print and then for footwear I went for my knee-high boots. I will be honest soon I'll stop wearing my knee-high boots because I just think they're a little better suited for wearing winter and autumn as opposed to spring and summer. However, for more transitional outfits and transitional style, I definitely think you can still get away with wearing knee-high boots, particularly with a look like this one. I think it works so perfectly with this outfit. And to finish off the look, I just have a small black bag. I feel like Parisian style, it's very much like your tiny little bag. You just carry around the essentials. You're not lugging around literally everything in the kitchen sink. It's just suited for your everyday essentials and I think this bag is perfect for that. From one chic transitional look onto another more spring ready outfit. This in my opinion is an outfit that I would wear throughout spring and summer so a perfect one as the weather starts getting warmer. For outfit number two I have this gorgeous dress. I mean I'm sure as soon as you look at it you've got instant reformation vibes but this is for a fraction of the price. Admittedly I have had this dress for about two to three years so it might be a little bit harder to find but definitely have a look on ebay and depop and vintage secondhand places like that alternatively if you have the budget then definitely check out reformation i mean they have such stunning prints and designs and dresses skirts tops the lot and this is a print very reminiscent to a reformation print however this particular dress that i'm wearing is actually from new look so it's from the high street it was really affordable i got it around two 
or three years ago now in the summer and it's one of my most worn dresses. I really do bring it out every season. And thinking back to the inspiration behind this video, when I was thinking about that classic Parisian style, I feel like a print like this is quite a classic print. As I mentioned already, I myself wear this dress so frequently. It really is a dress that has stood the test of time within my wardrobe. I really adore it. And I just think that when it comes to Parisian style, it's prints like this that you're going for. They're not too like overly messy or too over the top. They're really quite simplistic and, and still somehow remain quite chic. Like essentially this is just a navy dress with some white little, almost looks like paint splatters on there. But there's just something about the simplicity of this kind of print that I think works so well for elegant Parisian look. So that's why in the end I decided to go for this midi dress on its own. I literally added nothing to this. I kept the rest of the look really quite simple here because I really wanted it to be all about the pattern and as I said, I think with Parisian style you don't want to overwhelm a look with too many prints or too many colours. So for my shoes I went for my slingback shoes. These are from June and then I chose my white bag from Aspinall. This bag is stunning. You can actually remove the shoulder strap of this bag as well and just carry it around using the handle which I think is a really cute way but for everyday more casual vibes I do like having the strap on this bag because I just think it makes it a little more wearable for everyday but both ways both options are there both options are available so whichever you prefer next up going from one very summery look into a more transitional outfit so this one you can add layers to the look so for outfit number three i am layering this gorgeous pinafore dress this is from marge which is a parisian brand so perfect paris vibes if you ask me but the reason i really wanted to style this pinafore dress is because it's actually one that i got in the winter and I have already styled this previously with roll necks and knitwear, tights, knee-high boots, that kind of look, which I think is a perfect look for the winter. But I wanted to show you that even with an item like this pinafore dress, you can definitely dress it for springtime as well. So switching your thick winter layers for more lightweight layers, as I have done here. And I really like how it turned out, actually. This was one of those that... I envisioned it in my head before I actually wore it and put it together. But once I wore it, I was like, yes, this is 100% it. Like, I, I really like this look, so I hope you like it as well. But basically, I paired my pinafore style dress with a gorgeous lace blouse. If you are thinking about Parisian style, a white lace blouse has to be within your wardrobe. I just think it's so classically Parisian, literally perfect for the French girl. This white shirt has long sleeves, it's got little lace inserts there, some embroidered details and quite a large collar as well which is another quite Parisian trend-led item and I thought that looked really beautifully as it peeks through from over the top of the pinafore dress. I just love how these two they're essentially like complete opposites, like something really quite chunky for winter, paired with something so delicate like this white lace blouse. I really love how the two of them look. And then because I wanted to keep the Parisian girl vibes flowing, I decided to go for a pair of white ankle boots. I think that white footwear is actually quite hard to style, I will be honest, but I have these white boots that I think sometimes they're just perfect for a particular outfit and I think this outfit was literally made for these boots. I cannot imagine wearing any other pair of shoes with this outfit. I just think that the white boots are perfect. And for my bag, I've gone for my white Aspinall bag once again. I guess what I've done with this look is keep all of the layers quite light and airy, so perfect for spring as they're paired with a more wintry piece which is the pinafore dress. Here you can see as well that I've actually decided to wear my Aspinall bag slightly differently so I removed the shoulder strap as I was speaking about previously and I'm just holding it by the handle and I think with an outfit like this it looks really beautifully paired together. Okay so now that I've shared some quite feminine fancy outfit ideas now I wanted to move on to some that I think are a bit more sort of like practical like everyday kind of looks. So for outfit number four I guess you could say that I have workwear inspiration in mind and actually this is a very classical Parisian outfit if you ask me. It's like the everyday kind of style as opposed to outfits 
outfits that may be slightly more dressed up like the previous three that I've shared. So here I'm wearing a trench coat. Oh my gosh, I almost filmed this video without including a trench coat with any of my outfits and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to include a trench coat. I really think that a trench coat is the epitome of spring style wherever you are in the world. Honestly, I think a trench coat is absolute perfection in the springtime. So I'm wearing my classic coloured trench coat here and then I've got on a striped jumper. Did you think I would film a Parisian outfits ideas video without including a bit of stripes? Of course not. So this is my striped jumper here. I've decided to pair this quite simply with a pair of black high-waisted trousers. You can't go wrong with the monochrome as I think I have already said in this video but I really think that the stripes and then the black high-waisted trousers really are just so well suited together. They really are just the perfect pairing. This looks great with the trench coat but it will look equally as nice without the trench coat as well. For my accessories I've gone for a pair of black loafers because I really think that that Parisian style definitely entails some loafers, in particular a pair of black classic loafers with some sort of gold hardware detailing showing like these have. I just think it's so classically Parisian. And not forgetting the bag of choice as well, I went for my Kate Spade bag. This is quite a structured handbag. It's one that I really adore and I do gravitate towards quite a lot. As I said, for this outfit I did kind of have some work wear outfit ideas in mind. So then taking that into consideration, I went for a slightly larger bag, but still quite structured and still quite elegant, as I think the Parisian style deserves. I guess to finish off the outfits in this video, we're going from workwear to something more casual and weekend vibes, I want to say. Outfit number five is really casual, and I really like this look in the end. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I think the main piece, I would say, within this outfit are the trousers so they are or jeans I should say wide leg classic blue denim jeans these are having a major comeback this spring and I really think we're going to see them styled so much throughout the spring months I personally am really excited to style my wide leg trousers more I think wide leg jeans and wide leg trousers are really great at helping you look taller adding some height and essentially giving the illusion of longer legs which I really like obviously depending on your height it's slightly different I'm quite tall but I just love how a pair of wide leg jeans or trousers look. I really think it's very elegant. So the jeans are basically the talking point and usually what I would do with jeans, I would actually go for a slightly tighter top to kind of balance it out. However, I feel like Parisian style and Parisian outfits, you don't see a lot of bodycon or like form fitting pieces really. It's definitely quite like flowy and more relaxed. So I went for a more slouchy cardigan here and I love how it looks. I'm so happy I sort of went out of the boat a little bit more and experimented a bit with Parisian styled outfits because this is probably a combo that I wouldn't usually go for. But I think it looks so beautiful paired with these trousers. What I've done is tucked in the front of this so that you can still see my waist there and it's not sort of like you're not drowned in your clothing basically. You still have that definition there of of a waist outline I suppose but then the back of this I did leave it untucked I did leave it I suppose ready for the weekend very much casual vibes but I love how it looks I actually love the like slouchy and more relaxed fit of the cardigan paired with the wide leg jeans I really think it's a combo that I wouldn't usually go for but having tried it a combo that I really like and then I have opted for a classic black bag this is just a shoulder bag this is actually my everyday bag I wear this every day in London I thought it looked really beautiful with this outfit it matches the buttons of the cardigan which are black and then I also went for a pair of black pointed ankle boots as well. A more casual outfit idea for the weekend but still very much with those like chic Parisian vibes. And those were my Parisian inspired outfit ideas. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video and you liked the outfits that I put together. Let me know in the comments down below which of these outfits was your favourite from one to five. Let me know which one was your favourite and which one you would wear. I really enjoyed putting together this video. I definitely had to like step out of my comfort zone a little bit. I myself, I'm not Parisian, I don't live in Paris, so naturally I'm stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit and just trying to create different kinds of outfits that maybe I wouldn't typically wear and I loved 
filming this so I'm really happy that this was a suggested video basically because it really helped me just experiment a little bit more with my style which I absolutely love doing so I really hope that you enjoyed watching today's video if you did please give it a thumbs up any more suggestions or recommendations then please leave them in the comments down below in the description box you will have links to all of the outfits that I shared with you and the pieces that I mentioned and wore within this video so definitely click show more if you'd like links to anything that I am wearing throughout this video and if you're not already subscribed to my channel then please do subscribe I would absolutely love to have you here as part of my little family on YouTube I would really love that so subscribe if you haven't already don't forget to thumbs up the video and I will see you all in my next video a very big thank you for watching bye